previously on Devious Mates. You told me that you were going home to Seattle. Honestly, I never left. You humiliated me in front of those horrible men. The torque. And work takes priority. I'm starting to get that. It's good that you're going. I need some time. So how long you plan on being away? There's one thing that I have to do. I'm going to find my real dad. I think you're the most beautiful woman in the whole world. I can't believe that just happened. Me neither. You had to make a choice between the life of a baby and my life. And you made the wrong one. If you can't stand up to your mother, then this is over. Go to hell, mother. I broke up with my mother. So can I stay here? With me? I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, you're the reverend. Hello. Would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow? Just use that money to hire the best divorce attorney you can find and get the hell away from that man for good. I'm sure I'm Perry's sister. Can't let that woman raise my son. Perry was in the circle. I just wish I could get inside. They only want rich people. You mean you want me to join the cult? If Perry had a secret, maybe it got her killed. Someone's going around asking about Perry's murder. Rosie. We'll be home soon, huh? Okay, where's Tucker? We're both fine. He was a warning. I want to get close. What's in this? Tucker Westmore is the key to everything. I can't hear nothing, David. Someone ran your car off the road. It was the circle. Oh, honey, you gotta stay away from traffic circles. They're confusing, even for good drivers. Not a traffic circle, the circle. It's a cult for rich people and celebrities. Perry was a member. Like a Hollywood cult? Mm -hmm. Do they help singers break into the music business? They only want fancy people. That's why I had Miss Genevieve join, so she could spy for me. What? You allow the most wide-eyed, unsuspecting woman in the world to join a group that specializes in mind control? That does sound kind of bad, hmm? Get her out of there! Everything good here, ladies? I know it's all good with you, beautiful. What? Usually that pobrecito can barely say two words to you. And if he does, he dips us into his feet or your boobies. Oh my god, you stop with that. <laughs> yes, okay? I was in a bad place and I needed someone. That's why I did it. The first time. Oh, it was more than one time? Yeah. And this is gonna sound weird. But he's amazing in bed. Hey guys, everything good tonight? Him? It's true. He does this hand massage thing here. Oh, it's the best sex I've ever had. So sorry. You see, my husband, a horse's ass named Adrian Powell, has retained every top divorce attorney in Beverly Hills. Which is why I found myself here, seeking legal representation in the Valley. This is Powell. I'm the most respected divorce attorney in Encino. Yes, but how are you with Beverly Hills divorce law? I can't imagine it's the same here in the Valley, where clearly there's nothing worth fighting over. You keep saying the Valley, so it's a third world country. This is Encino. It's upscale. If you say so. Anyway, I would like to move this divorce along so I can adjust my current living arrangements. And what are they? I'm staying with my friend Marisol, and it is not the picture of luxury. You have out of your mansion. Is that a problem? If it appears to the court like you're the one who abandoned your home and your marriage, it may negatively impact your settlement. But that's absurd. I haven't done anything wrong. Besides, even if I could stomach moving back in with Adrian, he has made it very difficult to get into that house. Millions of dollars are at stake. You need to move back into your home immediately. 
So, what do you think? Very impressive. I mean, what you're doing is very impressive. So, what made you decide to become a trainer? Uh, well, fitness has always been a hobby, and I don't want to be a maid forever. Look at you. Study your own business. <laughs> Danny must be pretty happy, huh? I don't know. I haven't talked to her since she went home to Puerto Rico. So, how are things with you and Peter? Oh, we're good. Uh-oh. What? I said we're good. No, you said we're good. What happened? We had a fight right before you went away on a business trip. Honestly, I don't know where we stand right now. But on the bright side, that means you're free to have dinner with me. Dinner? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I can... Um... Come on. It's my treat. I want to pick your brain about this business stuff. We're friends. Aren't we? Yeah. Great. It is a date. I just joined the circle. Now you want me to quit? It's too dangerous. I'll find another way to help Spence. Besides, Manzuela won't have to worry about you. Hold on. Zoila is worried about me? Well, I told her about you joining the circle, and she was not happy. You should have seen her face. She made the sour face? Oh, I can just picture all those angry little frown lines. We've been friends for 20 years. She still cares about you. I thought she'd written me off. She may be angry with you, but I think if you were in trouble, she'd still come running. It's good to know. So I take it you're not a morning person? Well, I never had a reason to be. Until now. No, 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 no. I want to, come on, I want to start my day. Help me make the book. Alright. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Making the bed. Oh my god, you don't know how to make a bed. My mother always did it for me. Hey, if someone offered to make your bed every day, I'm sure you'd let them. Okay, I'll give you that one. Looks like you're going for a jog, you might. Ooh, only if you make me go with you. <laughs> green and green? What are you, jogging with leprechauns? Well, these are the only things that match. Except they don't. Did your mother lay out your clothes every morning, too? No. Sometimes she laid them out the night before. Okay. I'm gonna make some toast. You want some? Thanks. Uh, you might cut the crust off. Is that how your mother does it? I'd prefer not to answer that. I'm so sorry. I've made such a mess of things. Would you ever consider taking me back? What about the good Reverend Hamilton? He broke up with me. But the truth is I'm glad. He never challenged me. He never fully captured my heart. The way you did. I was wondering when you were going to come to your senses. Well, I want us to lie beside you and feel your arms around me. Is something wrong? Evelyn, are you certain you've forgiven me all my transgressions? The sexual indiscretions over the years, the faked paralysis, water under the bridge. You're lying. You haven't forgiven me, not the slightest. Why would you say that? Because you have a tell. It kills me to admit I've been aware of it for years. Every time you tell an untruth, 
You take a sip of wine. That proves you nothing. I've always been a lush, and you know it. Then convince me. Give me a kiss on the lips and tell me that you love me. Play with your Legos. I'm talking to Jesse. I'm sorry, you were saying? Just that you're bananas to keep pursuing the circle. You're lucky to be alive after that car crash. But I'm getting so close to the truth. I know Perry told the circle all her secrets and they recorded. Got to find that video. Jesse, I still can't get a hold of Ben. Are you sure he hasn't come by? Uh, no, ma'am. I haven't seen him. We're supposed to get together today to discuss my career. You know, he's managing me now. Wasn't he Perry's manager too? Yes, he's very good. Except that he's not returning my calls. I'm going to his office. Keep an eye on Tucker. He's been fussy all morning. Yes, Miss Shannon. That's weird. Why is Ben ignoring her? I don't know. But you said they're in the circle together. If you want to find out where they meet, you can follow one of them. Tucker! Oh my god, Tucker, are you okay? Call 911! Tucker's a brave boy, Miss Green. He's gonna be okay. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I'm just so worried about him. Oh. Yeah, so I'll, um, I'll let you know when. You can say What did the doctor say? Is, is Tucker all right? He's stable. Apparently he had some internal injuries from the car crash, but they missed the signs when he first came in. Oh my god. He has something called a cardiac tamponade. It's an injury to his heart. That sounds serious. Can they fix it? Well, he has to have surgery in a few days, but they expect he'll make a full recovery. Is that doctor looking at me? Gotta fix her. Huh? Miss Shannon, why are they waiting to the Tucker surgery? It has something to do with the, the blood bank. Tucker has a blood type that's difficult to match. What about Spence? He's Tucker's brother. He can donate blood. No. No, we're not doing that. I don't want Spence or his blood anywhere near my nephew. For a guy who loves Lord of the Rings, you're really good at that. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Actually, I love all the lords. Lord of the Rings, flies, and dance. You're a giant nerd. <laughs> Ay, Danny. She's driving me crazy all the way from Puerto Rico. That's wrong. My dear Yolanda sent me an email saying that Danny's been asking around, trying to find out who her birth father is. And that would be bad. Yes, that would be bad. Lucas was my high school sweetheart. And Never even told him that I was pregnant. And he finds out now. Ow. Why are you so good at that? My fingers get a good workout for playing Sorcerers of the Mist. Can I use your computer and so I can write back because my phone is almost dead? Sure. Take your time. Maybe later we can order some dinner. <laughs> Oh, my God. He choked his 
pizza or Thai? You pick. You know what? I don't think I'm hungry anymore. I think I'm just gonna... You know I'm just... I... You want anything else? I'm trying. Adrian changed the gate code and... I've been able to connive my way back in, so... This is fantastic. You know what? We should go out and celebrate. I don't think I want to get back in the house yet. But you're talking about moving, and that's worth a nice dinner. Just you and me. And Jesse. Who? My ex. He invited me to dinner, and I need you to come. Tomorrow night. What are positive dreams? Three and two. Please. Jesse and I have history. Peter's out of town. I just don't want anybody getting the wrong idea. You're worried your ex might be interested in you again? Maybe. And also, this is Jesse. Dear God. Oh, I wouldn't trust myself around this gorgeous morsel either. So you'll come? Well, why not? James is always saying my friends are a little too elitist. He means why? Regardless, we would be happy to join you. And, uh, we just, yeah. I'm sorry, I was, I was distracted by his abs, his arms, those crazy little muscles above his waist. Marisol, I'm going to have to confiscate this before I find it hidden beneath your mattress. Why are they waiting to do cover surgery? He needs a blood donation. I can donate. I know. I told Miss Shannon that, but she doesn't want me to. She won't let me help my son because she thinks that I killed Perry? Or maybe she's taking orders from the circle. I was thinking, if I follow Miss Shannon, I can find out where the circle meets. It's too dangerous. How many times do I have to say that? Don't be mad. I'm trying to help. I'm sorry. I'm just upset. I'll talk to the warden and I'll see if I get permission to donate blood. In the meantime, you promise that you will stay away from the cult. I love you. You didn't promise. I know. I was in the market and I saw something called a pastelito. I thought you might enjoy it. Wow. You must really be lonely if you're making up flimsy excuses to hang out with me. I simply thought since things didn't work out with Kyle, you might appreciate company. Actually, the Kyle situation took an unexpected turn. He's sort of living here. You must be thrilled. Not exactly. He can't even take care of himself. You mean, sexually? Ew, no. I'm barely used to hanging out with you. Can we agree to never talk about sex? You're lost. I'm quite the expert. Ew, again. Anyway, I'm starting to figure out the weirdness between Kyle and his mom. She did everything for him. Should you get that? Not important. So, what's going on with you? Well, Evelyn... I tried crawling back, but unfortunately it was all a ruse. I'm gonna go so you can answer me. Care to finish this conversation over a drink later? I don't know. If you prefer, you can always stay home and make spaghettios for the man child. Past 6 30. See you then. Jean-Viev, what is it? What? Oh my god! Isn't it wonderful? You're getting married? Yes! And you simply must meet my fiancé Fabian. He's absolutely adorable. And so what if he's gay? He's gay? You didn't learn your lesson with husband number five? This time will be different. And I can't back out now. I've already given Fabian a lot of money. How much money? Just a few hundred thousand. 
He needs it for the club we're in. It's called the Circle. That's not a club. That's a cult. Is it? They never mentioned they were a cult. A cult doesn't go around advertising. It's a cult. Listen to me. You cannot marry this guy. But what should I do about the new will he wants me to sign? No, I can't believe this. Even you can't be this... Stupid. But I am... Ugh. What do you mean? I'm in terrible danger. I need your help. This is all a big show. To try and get me to come back to work here. Are you actually going to marry this cool guy? If I did, would you come back to work here? That's it. I'm leaving. Please. It's been months. Can't you forgive me by now for what happened to the baby? No. I don't forgive you. And I never will. Zoila. And you know what? The next time you're in trouble, real trouble, don't expect me to come running. So I found a bunch of pictures of me on Doc's computer. That's sweet. Pictures of me sleeping. Less sweet. sweet. One of them with my head chopped off. Maybe it's time to end things with Doug. I can't. Well, he could freak out and chop off my head for real. This always happens to me. You know, I drive my insane Marisol. You know, I don't them and pracata. The crazy comes out. Yeah. Okay. I need him to break up with me. Because if it's his idea, then he won't go nuts. That's why I'm here. How do you do it? You know, drive men away. Why do you think I'm good at that? Nick, Jesse, now Peter, you seem pretty good. Oh, Marisol, give me your secret. Is it your haircut? Your clothes? That tub is awful. Can I borrow it? Carmen, I have work to do. Carmen! God, how I've missed you. May I say you look absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, so? Why did you just bring that up now? Well, working for me at the mansion, we never just sit around and catch up anymore. We never did that. Speaking of the mansion, I need to get in there to retrieve a few things, but Adrian, the monstrous little jackal, will let me in. Perhaps you could help me. I don't think the jackal would like it if I helped you. He doesn't have to know. All I need is the new passcode for the gate and a text from you telling me when he's not home. I'll be in not ten minutes. Okay. You know how this works. I beg your pardon? You ask for something and ask what's in it for me, blah, blah, blah. We can skip all that. All right. Um, well, I don't have much to offer. Yeah. But Marisol has some 20% off coupons for Bed Bath & Beyond. That's pretty. My necklace? The bracelet is nice, too. So that's your plan? To pluck items off my body like some sort of vulture? I'm going to go to my room and ransack my closet while we're at it. Great. Let's go. Hey, babe. How's your... Die. Die, you big loser. How's your day? It was not amazing. And you're dead now. I killed you. Oh. oh. Kyle... The no shoes on the sofa will apply whether your feet are in them or not. Sorry, babe. Why are your clothes everywhere? I like to peel them off after a jab. Don't pick them up. Kyle, after a day like this, I need to come home to a decent house. Did I ask you to clear that bowl this morning? Yeah, I just got that one. You asked me to pick up that one. Which is still there. I see the problem. If you want someone to be your mother, then maybe you should move back to her place. <laughs> James, you know Marisol. 
And uh, this is our dear friend Jesse. I don't think we've ever met. Perhaps I should feel like I, I know you because of the way Marisol goes on and on about you. But not too much. She goes on about you the normal amount. A pleasure to meet you, Jesse. And what a wonderful blessing to run into friends. You know what? You guys should join us for dinner. Jesse won't mind? Actually, we are. Great! The more the merrier. Do you have a friend? Wait, so you get season tickets to the Dodgers? Oh, one of my parishioners is the team doctor. You should come to the game sometime. I'd love to. They seem to be hitting it all. I knew they would. Because they're both black. Marisol, does it always have to be a basket girl that would be it? <laughs> anyway, thank you for doing this. I did not want tonight to get awkward. Of course. You know I'm always here for you. Whenever you need me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Adrian just left the mansion and might be my only chance to get back in. No, please. Oh, so it's no big deal. Play that dinner alone anyway. But James, you can stay, right? You and Jesse have so much in common. Because we're both black? I'm so sorry about her. <laughs> I guess it's just the two of us. Not wrong. How was it going? Pretty good, actually. That hunky doctor gave me his number. For emergencies only. Yeah, right. I meant how was it going with Tucker? Oh, he's fine. He sleeps for the night. Which means I can go home. Oh, Michelle, I almost forgot. I have something for you. Who gave you this? Somebody left it at your front door. I thought it could be Ben. You left him all those messages. Why wouldn't he just call me? I don't know. You'll have to ask him when you see him. Thank you, Rosie. This is, this is very helpful. Hey, Westmore. Didn't see you there. Everything all right? My kid needs a blood transfusion. I was meeting with the warden to see if they'd let me donate. No dice. Sorry, man. Yeah, I was just in the hospital. It wouldn't get to be back there now. Oh, my shit? What? You said you want to go back to the hospital. Let me shed you. Uh, well, you know, that that's really generous, but um, no, I can't ask it to do that. <laughs> I don't mind. And I'll make sure you got enough blood left in you to help you kid. Oh, God, you just happen to have that on you? Yeah, man, it's prison. Now, where you want to get stabbed? Hmm? Stomach? Hmm. Back? Oh. Leg? I, I just don't know about this. I can tell you're nervous, so wouldn't forget the whole thing. <laughs> then I'll get you what you least expected. Morning and see it coming. Is this supposed to make me feel better? Oh. <laughs> see? Told you wouldn't see it coming. Just not sure that the photo on my flyer is the right choice. Maybe I should go with something like this. You know, I think I've seen enough naked photos of you. Naked? They're fitness shots. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, I speak for Marisol. You are not fine. You've been acting strange all night. The truth is, I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Wait. You think I made up a personal training business? Took some sexy photos and made flyers all to get you alone with me? Maybe. You 
always jump to the craziest conclusions. I do not. It's how you keep people away. You're afraid to get too close. You don't know what you're talking about. So what happened with Peter? Wait, let me guess. You latched on to some non-issue and made it into a huge thing until basically he ran away from you. Now hold on. You don't get to call me crazy. You are the one who lied about moving to Seattle to avoid me. That's crazy. Do you know how humiliated I was? You know how much that hurt me? No, you know what? I was wrong. We can't be friends. Wait, wait, don't go. Let, let, let's talk this out. I'm done talking. But you speak fluent mighty soul. Translate this. Carmen, this is a nice surprise. I passed her by after the gym. I'm such a mess. I hope you don't mind. You always look beautiful to me. Uh, no, I don't. No makeup, no hairspray, no leg shaving. Carmen, all uh, natural. Nice. I love seeing the real you. Okay, well, just so you know, the real me wears... Glasses! Pretty bad, right? I have big bug eyes. I guess now you want to break up with me. Why would I break up with you? I wear glasses. Oh, right. I guess I never really looked at your face. Well, I'm looking at you and you look like the world's hottest librarian. Ay, bendito! Sexy no matter what. Wanna pretend I'm a troublemaker with an overdue book? Okay, Jack, I have to be honest. What about? You and me, we're different people, so it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. If you like that, wait till you see what I can do to your feet. But actually, I don't like people to touch my feet, but... Ah. Well. So what were you saying? I'm getting a nice tour of the grounds. The palace of the sky only bigger. No, no. In my head. Oh, why am I not allowed one single victory? I am always the one to suffer. There is no God. Did you just have you not believe in a god, can I? You are so wonderful. <laughs> Considering I'm a black man standing next to a broken window in Beverly Hills, maybe we should get inside. I would listen to the statements. Huh? I thought you invited me here to drink. Whiskey, meat. More trouble with the handsome new roommate. Uh, you got that right. He won't even clean up after himself. Oh, just have the maid pick up after him. Oh, right, you are the maid. Anyway, you can't just take care of him like he's some child. I did that for years with jean -Biev. You know, you never told me what happened between you and jean -Biev. It's... Complicated. I can handle complicated. Tell me. I lost a baby. Because of her. How does that happen? She made a bad choice. And I blame her. Don't look at me like that. I know it doesn't make sense, and I know you won't understand. Actually, I do. When we lost our son, Barrett, I blamed Evelyn. Sure, she wasn't driving the car that hit him, but she took her eyes off of him just for a moment. And that was enough. I'm sorry. I held on to my anger for years, decades. Never let her forget it. But it didn't bring Barrett back. All it did was make us miserable. 
Lately, I've begun to wonder... What? If I had just forgiven her sooner, maybe we wouldn't be in the mess we're in now. Maybe we would be... happy. I never moved out. At least not in the eyes of the court. Ah. So this is about your divorce settlement. Well, it's not exactly how I hoped you'd return, but uh, perhaps it will be good for us. Being under the same roof will literally force us together. Maybe we'll remember what we once had. I doubt that very much. How are you, Adrian? Oh, I hope you don't mind, but James will be spending the night here. Will he be staying with you every night? Oh, probably not. Now that I'm here, I can donate blood for Tucker's surgery. You could have gotten really hurt. Tucker needed me. He didn't just do nothing. Are you mad? No. Sometimes we do crazy things for the people we love. But now you know why I have to keep finding out what happened to Perry. I know it's dangerous. But you are my whole life. But Rosie. No more but Rosie's. I'm going to get you out of jail. That's that. Come in. Father. I didn't think you had anything more to say to me. Maybe I do. Listen. No, you listen. It's my turn. It's not fair of you to blame me for what happened at the hospital. Yeah, you lost a baby that day, but I lost my best friend. And I know it's not the same, but it still hurts. I'm sure it does. I keep going over this. If I were faced with the same choice again, would I make the same decision? And? I would. I would never choose to lose you, Zoila. Especially now that I know how lonely life is without you. I forgive you. What? It wasn't your fault. I needed someone to blame. I'm so sorry. It's 
should be someone to see that. So you'll come back to work for me? I was hoping we could just be friends. And one friend could do the other one's laundry and cook for her. Sophia. not in your head. I never said that. You didn't have to say that. First, we couldn't be together because I was your employee. Then it was my age. Then you thought I was a killer. Are we never gonna let that go? The point is, you kept making up reasons to push me away. I was never good enough for you. Jesse. It's okay. No, I understand. You're this hot, intelligent, successful woman. Why would you want to be with a guy like me? with you. Wait, what? We're breaking up. But please, don't kill me or anyone else. Kill you? You think I'm some kind of murderer or something? Well, I know you're a stalker. I saw all the crazy pictures of me on your computer. I'm not a stalker. I just wanted to surprise you. I was making cover art for your next album. You took pictures of me while I was sleeping and cut my head off like a psycho. You said you were calling the album Dreams. That head thing is a work in progress. I'm not that great at Photoshop. Oh. So you're really just a nice guy? Yeah. Boy, you're all worked up about this, aren't you? No, no. I'm sexy head massage. Doc, this has been fun. The sex was surprisingly great, and my hands have never been more relaxed. But I don't have feelings for you. It was just a fling. I don't mean anything to you. Oh, of course you do. You're nice, you're a good listener, you memorize my coffee order. I see. So no more feelings? None at all. Oh, good. I really didn't want to have to find another coffee shop. for you about your father, Lucas. For you, my lady. What's going on? The house looks... Spotless. I know, I've been cleaning for hours. You can eat off these floors, but please don't. I just scrub them. Thank you. Oh, your friend Rosie stopped by. Really? What'd she want? She didn't say. But 
Isn't she a maid? How do you know her? She works for my friend John Viev. Anyway, I can't get over this. Nothing looks like it's about to crawl away. I owe you an apology. Living with my mother all this time, I developed some bad habits. I want to be a better man. For you. That makes me really happy. <sighs> you haven't even seen my biggest surprise. <gasps> you made the bed! I googled it. And if it gets messed up, I'll make it again. Oh, that is the sexiest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Wait. That's the sexiest thing you've ever done. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> in recovery. You can see him now, but one at a time. Don't be Shannon. I can wait. Do you have any other questions? No. I'm just so happy Spence was able to donate blood for Tucker's surgery. I actually ended up using blood from the bank. Why didn't you use Spence's blood? Let me see. Ah, here it is. The donated blood was AB blood. Tucker's own negative. It's not a match. But Spence is Tucker's father. His adopted father? No, his real father. You know, I probably shouldn't be discussing this. Wait, what are you saying? That Spence isn't Tucker's father? You didn't hear that from me. Previously on Devious Mates, you told me that you were going home to Seattle. Honestly, I never left. You humiliated me in front of those horrible men. The twerk. And work takes priority. I'm starting to get that. It's good that you're going. You need some time. So how long you plan on being away? There's one thing that I have to do. I'm going to find my real dad. Even you don't think I'm hot anymore. I think you're the most beautiful woman in the whole world. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> me neither. You had to make a choice between the life of a baby and my life. And you made the wrong one. If you can't stand up to your mother, then this is over. Go to hell, mother. I broke up with my mother. So can I stay here? With me? I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, you're the reverend. Hello. Would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow, Meg? Just use that money to hire the best divorce attorney you can find and get the hell away from that man for good. I'm sure I'm a parasist. Can't let that woman raise my son. Perry was in the circle. I just wish I could get inside. They only want rich people. You mean you want me to join the cult? If Perry had a secret, maybe it got her killed. Someone's going around asking about Perry's murder. Rosie. We'll be home soon, huh? <gasps> okay, where's Tucker? We're both fine. It was a warning. I must be getting close. What's in this? Tucker Westmore is the key to everything. <laughs> Someone ran your car off the road? It was the circle. Oh, honey, you gotta stay away from traffic circles. They're confusing, even for good drivers. Not a traffic circle, the circle. It's a cult for rich people and celebrities. Perry was a member. Like a Hollywood cult? 
Do they help singers break into the music business? They only want fancy people. That's why I had Miss Genevieve join, so she could spy for me. What? You allow the most wide-eyed, unsuspecting woman in the world to join a group that specializes in mind control? That does sound kind of bad, hmm? Get her out of there! Everything good here, ladies? I know it's all good with you, beautiful. What? Usually that pobrecito can barely say two words to you. And if he does, he either says into his feet or your boobies. Oh my god, you slept with that? <laughs> yes, okay? I was in a bad place and I needed someone. That's why I did it. The first time. Oh, it was more than one time? Yeah. And this is gonna sound weird. But he's amazing in bed. <laughs> hey guys, everything good tonight? Him? It's true. He does this hand massage thing here. Wow. It's the best sex I've ever had. I'm so, so sorry. A horse's ass named Adrian Powell has retained every top divorce attorney in Beverly Hills, which is why I found myself here seeking legal representation in the Valley. This is Powell. I'm the most respected divorce attorney in Encino. Yes, but how are you with Beverly Hills divorce law? I can't imagine it's the same here in the Valley, where clearly there's nothing worth fighting over. You keep saying the Valley. So it's a third world country. This is Sensino. It's upscale. If you say so. Anyway, I would like to move this divorce along so I can adjust my current living arrangements. And what are they? I'm staying with my friend Marisol. And it is not the picture of luxury. You moved out of your mansion. Is that a problem? If it appears to the court like you're the one who abandoned your home and your marriage, it may negatively impact your settlement. But that's absurd. I haven't done anything wrong. Besides, even if I could stomach moving back in with Adrian, he has made it very difficult to get into that house. Millions of dollars are at stake. You need to move back into your home immediately. So... What do you think? Very impressive. I mean, what you're doing is very impressive. So, what made you decide to become a trainer? Uh, well, fitness has always been a hobby, and I don't want to be a maid forever. Look at you. Start your own business. <laughs> Danny must be pretty happy, huh? I don't know. I haven't talked to her since she... Went home to Puerto Rico. So, how are things with you and Peter? Well, we're good. Uh oh. What? I said we're good. No, you said we're good. <laughs> what happened? We had a fight right before you went away on a business trip. Honestly, I don't know where we stand right now. But on the bright side, that means you're free to have dinner with me. Dinner? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I can... Um... Come on. That's my treat. I want to pick your brain about this business stuff. We're friends. Aren't we? Yeah. Great. It is a date. I just joined the circle. Now you want me to quit? It's too dangerous. I'll find another way to help Spence. Besides, Manzuela won't have to worry about you. Hold on. Zoila is worried about me? I told her about you joining the circle, and she was not happy. You should have seen her face. She made the sour face? Oh, I 
can just picture all those angry little frown lines. We've been friends for 20 years. She still cares about you. I thought she'd written me off. She may be angry with you, but I think if you were in trouble, she'd still come running. It's good to know. So I take it you're not a morning person? Well, I never had a reason to be. Until now. No, 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 no. I want to, come on, I want to start my day. Help me make the book. All right. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Making the bed. Oh, my God. You don't know how to make a bed. My mother always did it for me. Hey, if someone offered to make your bed every day, I'm sure you'd let them. Okay, I'll give you that one. I was thinking of going for a jog. You might? Ooh. Only if you make me go with you. <laughs> green and green? What are you jogging with leprechauns? Well, these are the only things that match. Except they don't. Did your mother lay out your clothes every morning, too? No. Sometimes she laid them out the night before. Okay. I'm gonna make some toast. You want some? Thanks. Uh, you might cut the crust off. Is that how your mother does it? I prefer not to answer that. I'm so sorry. I have made such a mess of things. Would you ever consider taking me back? What about the good Reverend Hamilton? He broke up with me. But the truth is I'm glad. He never challenged me. He never fully captured my heart. The way you did. Uh, I was wondering when you were going to come to your senses. All I want is to lie beside you and feel your arms around me. Is something wrong? Evelyn, are you certain you've forgiven me all my transgressions? The sexual indiscretions over the years, the faked paralysis. Water under the bridge. You're lying. You haven't forgiven me not the slightest. Why would you say that? Because you have a tell. It kills me to admit I've been aware of it for years. Every time you tell an untruth, you take a sip of wine. That proves nothing. I've always been a lush and you know it. Then convince me. Give me a kiss on the lips and tell me that you love me. Very well. There. And I love you. I don't know what kind of game this is, but I'm not playing. I feel dizzy. Have you been spinning around again, Chiquito? Don't do that. Now go play with your Legos. I'm talking to Jesse. I'm sorry, you were saying? Just that you're bananas to keep pursuing the circle. You're lucky to be alive after that car crash. But I'm getting so close to the truth. I know Perry told the circle all our secrets and they recorded it. That's to find that video. Jesse, I still can't get a hold of Ben. Are you sure he hasn't come by? Uh, no, ma'am. I haven't seen him. Good. Well, we're supposed to get together today to discuss my career. You know, he's managing me now. Wasn't he Perry's manager, too? Yes, he's very good. Except that he's not returning my calls. I'm going to his office. Keep an eye on Tucker. He's been fussy all morning. Yes, Miss Shannon. That's weird. Why is Ben ignoring her? 
I don't know. But you said they're in the circle together. If you want to find out where they meet, you can follow one of them. Tucker's a brave boy in this game. He's gonna be okay. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I'm just so worried about him. Oh. Yes, I'll, um, I'll let you know when you can see him. What did the doctor say? Is, is Tucker all right? He's stable. Apparently he had some internal injuries from the car crash but they missed the signs when he first came in oh my god he has something called a cardiac tamponade it's an injury to his heart that sounds serious can they fix it well he has to have surgery in a few days but they expect he'll make a full recovery is that doctor looking at me i think so miss shannon why are they waiting to the Tucker surgery? It has something to do with the, the blood bank. Tucker has a blood type that's difficult to match. What about Spence? He's Tucker's brother. He can donate blood. No. No, we're not doing that. I don't want Spence or his blood anywhere near my nephew. For a guy who loves Lord of the Rings, you're really good at that. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Actually, I love all the lords. Lord of the Rings, flies, and dance. You're a giant nerd. <laughs> Ay, Danny. She's driving me crazy all the way from Puerto Rico. That's right. My dear Yolanda sent me an email saying that Johnny's been asking around, trying to find out who her birth father is. That would be bad. Yes, that would be bad. Lucas was my high school sweetheart.